get straight. Oh, we're really close. Scott you, from you guys. Lovely to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Congratulations on your show. It looks fantastic. Uh, what was it specifically about this script and these characters that kind of drew you both in? Because it feels like there's a real romance here, but a really fantastic story. Yeah, just to clarify, Nick created it. He oh, wrote it. Yeah, I wrote it. So I could so I could say that that's like, but uh, I, I mean, I, I've always liked the subject matter um, and uh, and been intrigued by it. And so um, I like I like the fact that GHQ is rightly so shrouded in mystery so there's quite a lot of artistic license so you can play with that as a writer uh, playing with people's perceptions of the place um, and it just felt like a I guess a rich area for comedy because you've got this sort of this office environment which I think a lot of people can associate with but uh, the backdrop is this national security stakes really big stakes and so and then you've got David's character coming in as an American and there's a culture clash as well and he has to join the team but he ends up shaking them up so yeah we haven't had a good culture clash series for a while. I think that's that's pretty good. I'll ask well, you that question. Good. Then, what is, what is it? What was it about this this project that spoke to you? Because you've obviously done TV before. But what was it about this project that appealed to you? Because it feels like it's something a little bit different for you. Yeah, the main thing really was the opportunity to work with Nick, who I'm I'm a genuine fan of, and uh, just wanted to just wanted to work together. Um, and then I thought his idea was really original. Uh, the setting of this workplace comedy. And our goal, the, our aspiration uh, for the, this kind of a show is just outright comedy, not a comedy drama, nothing, you know, just no, nothing against comedy dramas or dramedies, but we just wanted to be outright, like, funny and trying to do a combination of his great dialogue with wonderful character-driven comedy, situation comedy, and a lot of physical comedy. So I think, uh, I think that's what we achieve but you know you guys will be the judge yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, obviously tv obviously since you did trends in the 1994 tv's changed a lot people are consuming their tv very very differently are you are you guys that consume tv are you binge watchers now or are you guys that you like to to stick with it yeah. i've got I've, I've got two young young kids and so as soon as they're down like my wife and i are like right what are we going to binge watch and you know we'll get hooked on a we don't watch too much comedy actually we watch a lot of Sort of Scandinavian thriller stuff and you know Chernobyl like loads of those kind of brilliant dramas uh, you know but yeah it's a golden golden time for television and you know drama and comedy so yeah absolutely love binge watching telly yeah. and finally a boring friends question I've just finished my annual rewatch of it I just wondered for you I mean obviously people talk about reunion and stuff is it is it for the group of you something about waiting for the for the right time not about pushing it because you had something so special that a reunion may or may not be something that you want to do and you want to leave it in the past no i mean yeah i uh, i'm not I, if the right thing came along i think the six of us would talk about it and consider it but so far um, nothing nothing has really spoken to us we kind of love the way the show ended it ended so kind of perfectly in our eyes and we don't want to mess with you know um, something something good yeah, so. fantastic. Well, I wish you both all the best with the show thank you so much for stopping thank pleasure thank you so much cheers ladies and gentlemen you're watching hey you guys hey you guys huh hey you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies it is indeed, yeah. nice hey, hey.